So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I've got a really, 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 really exciting video for you all. I'm going to be doing a long-awaited, updated makeup collection. We vibe So, I haven't done one since Feb February or March. I haven't done a makeup collection for ages and ages and I just kept it off and off and off. But yeah, okay. And I don't know why, but I finally done, like, I finally sorted it out in a while. I want to show you all. And to a lot, my collection might seem stupidly huge. I have been collecting makeup for a very, like, years. Like, three, all this makeup is over a period of, like, three, four years. And like when it's Christmas, I'll ask for makeup and stuff like that. So that's why I have this much. Also, obviously, I just like makeup. It's like, and yeah, this may seem a lot, may seem not much to some people, whatever. Um, but yeah, but yeah, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because I'm trying to get to 20k by the end of the year and 18k by my birthday on the 9th of August. And I don't think it's going to happen, but I can hope. And give it a big thumbs up, turn my notifications on, follow me on Instagram, smakeup underscore, And let's just get started. Okay, so this is like an overview of my makeup area. So I have all my makeup in these drawers. They go up to that drawer then, they're not makeup. And then I keep my makeup brushes in there, but I'm not gonna show you that today. And then this is like my overview. So I'm really actually happy with it, I love it. But yeah, Alex Nine drawers from Ikea. They, everyone has them and their mums basically. And then that's from the Condé Nast shop Vogue. That's from obviously, it's a Chanel bag. Like, I just bought when I buy, like, a lip gloss from there. That's your own Grande perfume. That's a bracelet, like, £2 of Amazon. So, I'm going to put you in my tripod and let's get into the drawers. Okay, so this... Oh, please ignore my nails. are a bit manky at the moment. This is my first drawer. And in here, it contains my contours, my bronzers, but I don't really wear bronzer, um, highlighters and blushes. So, yeah, I'm just going to go through each product. So, over here, I have, like, a singular singular highlighters in this oh by the way my containers from amazon yeah. so i have the chloe lewis beauty liquid highlighter in hashtag five i then have my mini cover fx highlighter um this barry m liquid chrome highlighter drops in i don't know and then this te technic uh prism unicorn cream highlighting cream in starlight that's like my liquid ones and then i have the ColourPop super shock cheek in hippo the Too faced Love Light Blinded by the Light, it's cute. This rainbow highlighter by Technic is like a prism one. Then I have this Becca highlighter in Vanilla Quartz. This is like my favourite highlighter in the world. I have the Revolution Vivid Baked highlighter in Peach Lights. The A AOA Studio Wonder Baked highlighter. This is not very good, but it's in the shade Cream Puff. And then lastly, oh no, not lastly, I have the Dolten H2O Glow highlighter in Champagne. And let's see what this looks like. It's like a cream highlighter it's really pretty and then lastly i have this cj cosmetics highlighter in glisten and glow it's like a loose highlight it's so so pretty and then around here i've just got a few more highlighters this is the anastasia beverly hills glow kit by by anastasia beverly hills like i said and this is really <laughs> used a lot it's my favorite thing in the world not literally have the soft times revolution highlighter palette i love this but don't get as much use out of it as i would have hoped <laughs> And then I have this by Rude Cosmetics. It's the Angelic Glow Palette. I've never used this, but um, it looks so cool. Hello, that's me. Hello, hello. And stop. But they all look the same colour, roughly. Not really, but yeah, it's cute. Yeah, I have quite a few powders. So I have this Cover FX Loose Powder. I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder, like everyone in the world has. This ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. And the ColourPop Sheer Pressed Powder. Never tried this. Mm, looks quite cool. I love their packaging. It's like so simple, but doesn't look cheap. This Doll 10 Beauty one. This Fuasia one. This AOA Studio one. I've never tried that. Another Fuasia one. Technic one. Oh, Technic one again, like a pressed one. And then this Technique Soft Focus Powder. So they're all my powders. And then moving on right to the back. We have our contours and blushes. So I'm just going to show you my first my two contour palettes. I have the Rude Cosmetics Audacious Contour Palette. Never tried this. I'm going to do like a testing video soon. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it looks like this. It has like contours, obviously, and a few highlights. Um, and then my favourite ever contour thing in the world, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in Light. I have a few blushes because I don't wear blush. 
I'll go for my contours first. Have the Sea Warrior contour stick, the Fuchsia, no, the Technique, like bronzer there, and then that's it really. I have my Benefit Dandelion mini blush, my Jordana blush, Rockachua, Rockachua, Rockachua blush, this really old Chanel blush, it was my mum's, and then this Autograph blush and the Fuchsia blush, um, and then this little mini Autograph one. Yeah, it's cute. In my second drawer, we just have primers and setting sprays, and I actually don't have that many really, but it doesn't matter, so I've got enough that I want. I have the F Rimmel Fix and Perfect Makeup Primer, the Rude Cosmetics Rose Gold Glow Primer Oil, the CYO Illuminating Cream, and the Elf Blemish Control Face Primer. I also have my Chanel Primer over on there, but it's not in here because I like it on display because it's bougie. And then this little mini Too Faced Hangover sample. And then I have my little like setting sprays, whatever. I have the Maribodescu Facial Spray Lavender one, the Maribodescu Rose Water Spray, the Urban Decay All Nighter, the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, Barry M Dewy Finish Setting Spray, and then the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. So that's what is in this drawer. In my third drawer, stop. I actually love this drawer. It looks so like just perfectly set out if I do so myself, but I do like it, I'm allowed to say that. I have my concealers and foundations in here, I do have a lot, I'm aware. So we're going to start with my concealers. So, I have the L'Oreal True Match, the Collection Lost in Perfection, the Urban Decay Naked Skin, should we zoom in a bit? The AOA Concealer, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, the CYO Highlighting Concealer, uh, this Rimmel one, this Technic one, this Colourpop No Filter one, one, another one of the Collection Last Imperfection, and then two of the Dolten Beauty concealers. And then we have my Bourjois Radiance Reveal right at the back, and this Fuchsia one. And then moving over to foundations, we have my C my C my Collection Last my Collection Illuminating Touch foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt, L'Oreal Infallible Twenty Four Hour, Revlon Color Stay, CYO. This Revolution stick in it. And then I have the two of the Technique foundation sticks. One really dark autograph one. The Dermacol one, just from doing like Halloween looks. Or one really high coverage or something. The Colourpop No Filter foundation. Rimmel Lasting Finish foundation. The Ordinary Full Coverage foundation. And lastly, the... What's this? Amuse Cosmetics Matte Finish foundation. And then right at the back, I can't put it out anymore. We have this. Coastal Scents, um, what's it called? Concealer palette, which is really cool. And then we have, I can't show you, but we have three, no, two autograph foundations right at the back, and then two of these Doll Beauty 10 cushion foundations. Yeah, that's what is in that little. And then in this drawer here is like my mascaras, eyeliners, and eyebrow stuff like that, and like bases. So, first of all, here we have the Wash Beauty Mascara Flex and Curl Shield, some Andometics Brow Strips, the Coastal Sense Brow Palette, and then we have this tub full of brow stuff. We have the Doll Beauty one, the CYO one, the CYO one, the AOA Studio one, a Brow Co, what's it called, gel for your eyebrows, the ABH Dip Brow, my NYX Dip Brow, AOA Dip Brow, Andometics Brow Powder, and then the Technic Ultimate Brow Kit. And then I have four like eye bases or like eye primers. I have the P. Louise one, love that so much. The Barium Glitter Fixer Jug Glue, NYX Glitter Glue, I love that as well. And then the Coastal Scents Eye Primer. Then moving on to mascaras. I don't really have mascara because I don't really wear it. I have the Max Factor Colour Defy, that is amazing. The Technique Mega Lash. The What's this one? This is the CYO Length Mascara. I have two of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Minis. Love that as well. This Sigma, what's this one called? Sinusity Lash. Oh, Mini Benefit Roller Lash. Travel Sized Urban Decay Perversion. That is my favourite all time mascara of ever. And then lastly, the CoverGirl Water Resistant Clump Crusher. I'm pretty sure they're the exact same thing, but like that's an American version. I've got that in TK Maxx. I love them. And then now we have eyeliners. So for my eyeliners, we just have. Hang on, let me try and I just put them there. We have the sand. I have no idea. It's just a random brand glitter liner. 
and then from the same brand another glitter liner and then I have the collection glam crystals I have three NYX Vivid Brights in yellow, pink and red two of the Supercut Skinnies by Soap and Glory and then these are a brand new cover them four that are heavily cosmetics that's a Technique one that's a Sigma one that's a Coastal Scents one and that is the white NYX liner now we have my lashes so I actually did just do a little declutter of my lashes so I don't well I have loads still but not as many as I did have so first of all I have the Anessa luxury lashes in the style suede and they're the ones I'm actually wearing today I then have two more Anessa lashes one in the style of no idea because it doesn't say yeah I have no idea they don't say but they're really pretty I've never tried them then I have three My Leah lashes. I have one in the style ML35. These are my favourite ever. Then these are in the style ML120. And these are in the style M121. Oh, I can't fit. And then over here we have two of like unicorn lashes. These are unicorn lashes in the style Majestic AF. And these are like the unicorn lashes, but they're dragon lashes in Blaze. move over a bit and then I have two of the Primark Sosu lashes in Holly and London some Violet Voss lashes in Just Slaying these Dodo lashes right at the back in the style D107 then I have two no three TGH lashes these ones are a little bit broken but oh. these in the style no idea they don't say I'm pretty sure I don't know these in the style I don't they don't say that's not very good <laughs> and then these are in style lioness funny they say these are so pretty and then i have some gms beauty ones in the sh in style karma these are so so pretty i love them and then i have some of my own brand me and eva's brand dream cosmetics is the chip style they're so pretty i love them and then i have right at the back the sosu lash holder i've never used it though and then i have some lash tools right at the back I have three duo blues two in clear like white and then one in a dark tone and then the unicorn cosmetics lash applicator and then I have three cherry lashes right at the back but you can't see them I'll show you right at the back but I can't bother to get them out that is that drawer now moving down to all my lip products so you won't actually be able to see this properly but yeah I have quite a lot of lip products and I don't even wear lip products that much but I'm going to like get them out and show you when they're out of the drawer. But basically, I just have my lip liners there, my lip balms there. These are all like matte lips and stuff, lipsticks. And then these are my lip glosses. But I'm going to get them out and show you. So this little tin is like, <laughs> I bought this for my mum years ago. It says mummy's favourites. But it's like a love hype tin. It's quite cute. I have two of the Technique Metalix things. That's an eyeshadow cream, well, whatever. I have the two of the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lips. One in the shade Flutter Valley and one in the shade Double Agent. They're really pretty. I have a Chanel gloss in the shade 712. I love it. A Huda Beauty lip stroke in the shade Snobby. And then a D Laura Mercier little lip gloss in No Idea. And this Deck of Sky lip gloss in the shade Love Spell. They're really cool. And then at the like the bottom layer, I'll just show you here because I can't be able to get them all out. I have this Wish Beauty one here. Max Factor one. Uh... Mm, shop missile one cyo one revolution and then three of the tiny bird lip glosses from like the advent calendar so my lip liners and my lip balms oh first of all soothing nipple balm that is not for my nipples i use that for my lips because it makes them so soft just in case you wanted to know i have this empty this is from a brand on instagram called skinny scrubs they're amazing used it all up i need to get another one this is in the majestic one i have a blistex daily lip conditioner the carmex lip balm and the body shop strawberry lip balm and then over in my lip pencils i don't really have that many i well, I have this little brush but that's meant to be in that one i have the kiko red like lip liner in 706 this max factor one in 14 brown and nude i have two mac ones one in the shade strip down one in the shade whirl really nice and then I have my ABH pencil sharpener, but I've lost the lid, so it doesn't even look like it's from ABH, which is sad. 
the Barry M Lip Pencil in Go 2, NYX Suede in shade Sandstorm, and the Rimmel one in the shade 10, 11 Spice. Now I have all of my lipsticks and stuff like that, so let's start with this one. I have two of the Claudia lipsticks, one in the shade do me one in the shade thank you wendy one's like red and one's really really pale have a nivea just lip balm two freedom lipsticks one in the shade real and one in the shade protect i don't really like them but I just keep them anyway it's rimmel in the shade 45 i've used up so much of this i'm quite proud of myself i love that shade this chanel lipstick that my mom's had for years and i just took it from her it's in shade 69 jamaica it's really nice never really wear it though it's a chloe lewis beauty one in the shade real oh real reva red or something like that really nice red i should have actually done that today and this lancome one in the shade no idea because it doesn't say it's just like a bright orange you gotta love it for the summer never even tried it in my lips oh well and then over here i have my mac lipstick in the shade really me this is literally my favorite shade ever this is a key coat lipstick in the shade one really nice and this rimmel kate moss again in the shade 80 love that oh it's a bit melty doesn't it this laura geller one in the shade risotto risotto or something like that really pretty then i have this fuchsia one in the shade no idea it doesn't say four madame glam ones so i have two of the velvet ones one in the shade fig one in the shade mad hatter and then i have two matte ones one in the shade Caspersi, one in the shade liar i'm wearing that one today and then lastly moving on to the last little section section how do i make sense no have a nivea little balm this barry m pretty amazing thing in the shade fearless tony burn matte lip i got ages ago in a calendar then I have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Berlin. Two of the Collection Velvet Kisses. One in shade Mulberry and one in shade... Oh, it matches my nails. One in shade Caramel. And then I have the number 7 Matte Lip Crown in the shade Doesn't Say. Brilliant. And a NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Tea and Cookies. That is such a cute name. And then in here I have some like little things. I have two of the Kiko Less Is Better Mac, Mac, Matte Lipsticks. One is in the shade Impeccable Rosewood and one's in the shade Cash Silky Cashmere. And then I have a Urban Sheen from Kiko in the shade 6. It's like a red, but it's like, I don't really like it. Then I have two of the Maybelline Colour Shlo Show lip pencils. One in the shade 210, one in the shade 630. And then I have my L'Oreal Lip Paints matte one. It's really nice. It's in the shade Nudist. My Too Faced Melty Matte in the shade Cool Girl, I believe. Yeah, Cool Girl. Barry M. Matte Me Up in the shade... What shade is it in? Oh, um, Go To. And then these two are really old. They were my nans, but I just keep them for sentimental purposes. And then last, but certainly not least, is my eyeshadow palettes. They are in the second to bottom drawer. And, um, yeah, I have quite a few, I think. But I'm not going to go from it in depth. If you want an in-depth one, I definitely will. But I just have, like, some palettes here. The Balm, Huda Beauty, some Revolution ones, BH Cosmetics, Have a Lou. Um, then I have my two Morphe palettes there. A Coastal Sense one, a Technique one, a Wish Beauty, a few Furless eyeshadows. Then a little, I don't know what that is. Sigma Eye Stick, Bronze Eyeshadows by Technique. And then my Loose Glisses from TGH, CYO, House of Sparkles, all of that good stuff. I have my Juvia's Place palette, Soft Glam, and yeah. If you do want an in-depth one, I definitely will do that though, for you all. Okay, so that is actually the end of today's video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below if you want, and hit the subscribe button if you want, and if you like me and want to come back to my channel. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Love you all. Bye.